and uh, the leader that he is in my opinion because also he's very old so I think he got, I joined SK first time as like the leader of a team I guess like the most the old, oldest one I guess even though I'm not that old I started playing League of Legends, I think it's been like 12 years now, maybe 10, something like that. Uh, I started because I used to play with my cousins at like Counter-Strike and whatnot, like all these games. And then one of my cousins started League, he told everyone to play League, so then everyone switched to League and then I had to switch. Uh, in the beginning I actually didn't like it that much. I mean, in the beginning when I was climbing, I climbed, I believe it was like the Diamond when all my brothers were stuck like maybe gold and plat and I was like diamond too but I didn't know back then that like that was insane I knew it was good but like I didn't know it could have like this impact I guess on my life I was like oh nice I'm good at the game you know but then yeah then the scene developed and whatnot and yeah and then, then I got a pro One of the greatest benefits of having him is like on stage he's confident Usually like players would say, oh, I'm confident on stage or like I don't choke, whatever, right? But usually most likely every player chokes a bit. It's just a matter of like how much you choke. And having someone that is like a firm voice brings confidence to everyone else. Go in, go in, go We have two minions, okay? We have two minions. Actually, we For a year straight, I think I was watching like Bjergsen and I don't remember who else. There was another mid. I think Froggen. I think it was Bjergsen and Froggen. I was watching them every single day. It was like studying everything when I was going to bed. And then I guess it just got into my brain and I got higher LP and then I became pro. I mean, I think everyone in the team feels that Niski is the leader, kinda. He's the guy that has the the last word. I'm going. Yeah, I think. Hello, I, know I think Lee is there. Okay. Yeah. I'm but coming. Well, guys. I'm first. I'm first. Okay, fight, 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 and fight, 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 fight. Go on him. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's just trolling. I think. I don't. Reach. I can feel when I'm in game that he's really trying to be. A leader as well, uh, even more in competitive. He tried to reassure everyone, you know, like uh, calm everything. It's very nice to have uh, someone like this in a team. That didn't happen for me, for example, in my last team. And I think one of the reasons of why. I succeeded, I would say it's just my determination because I mean my family was always nice, right? Or like they're still nice, but like they were, were always like good, right? With like money and whatnot, but not like insane, right? Um, so then I, I mean my dad was working only, my mom wasn't working. I was always getting money from my brothers because they would work and I was just there, you know, I was playing. But then once I got my first PC from one of my viewers actually, that he sent me like, I think 800 euros it was back then as like donations and whatnot, which I still talk to by the way. And then my brother topped it out on top. Uh, so I think I got like a 1.5k PC or something. Then I was like, okay, like I have, I feel like I've been given this chance. I have to like seize it and I have to like make it work. I know a lot of people that quit school back then and then like they were doing nothing and no job. And I was like, hmm, that's not what I want to be, you know? And then after two months, I was playing in Fnatic Academy. Um, so it went pretty fast. And from there, I feel like it went uphill and it never stopped for me. He comes in, the team immediately um, kind of gathers around him, I suppose. Like, he's, he's basically someone, like, on, on the previous iteration of the team, we didn't have someone where they would say something and everyone would just, like, say yep and then, and then play for that. We have that now. I think, especially in the mid game, in the first week he was the main shot caller and we just followed what he said and I think it went very well. End the game, end the game, end the game, stop. Let's go! I think we don't have time, we don't have time. Wait, 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 It's only Ash and Vi. And I think if we try to listen to a bit more to Niski, I think it will show like he, a real strength, a strength that he has and uh, the leader that he is in my opinion because also he's very old so I think he <laughs> I'm joking Good job bro! Nice! nice. Coming into this split we made it a goal to not 
to not waste as much time as we felt like we did during the first split. The main thing that I want to do for this split is to make sure that they know how to do that and they actually take that responsibility. I think G2 would be the best by far again, but I think uh, other teams' goals is just to challenge G2 and I think that's our goal as well. The problem when you are really aggressive is like when you try to step back, you tend to do nothing and I want to find the, the right place. Like I, I still want to be aggressive, but I want it to be more controlled. I think I could be like a better teammate and stuff, and like be more encouraging with my teammates because I think I didn't do that too well. I mean, hopefully now we like realize that if we actually like go the push ourselves really to the limit, then we can actually like improve super fast. And I think coaching staff as well that they said that they should have pushed us a lot harder as well because I think we are a lot of the time like not being direct players like, oh, you're doing this bad, you're doing this good. I feel like my role now is more to guide them rather than be the best mid that they have ever seen. It's like, I kind of want to say like Faker does, making sure they have good habits, making sure they get good feedback and give good feedback. They don't get cocky when they win. They don't get depressed when they lose. Now I can tell them. And I feel like I even have like the data to back up. Like, I don't know, don't take caffeine after like six or five or whatnot. And then they just blindly trust me on it. So I feel like there's lots of stuff that I tell them that I listen, which I really like. I feel like it would be very rough if I had to like fight them on every single point. They trust me. So I hope the team will elevate uh, the level of each individual and that will make it the world, yeah.